why should you use an ano vna to measure the length of the cable you might as well do simply using a tape that's right but the reason is that the nano ena is measuring the length up to the first fault so that if there is a break in the cable it will measure the length up to the first fault suppose there is a fault in the cable at 5 meters say then nano ena will tell you there is a fault at 5 meters the cable may be 20 meters long that is the reason why we want to use nano ena to measure not that uh, this cable is much easier to measure with a simple tape and moreover when i bought this cable i know the length which i bought also we should also have an idea of the approximate expected length then only we can set the settings in nano ena accordingly but uh, if you do not know the approximate length then you have to use trial and error methods that is a uh, signal transmission to the first fault or the end that is what we are going to measure so you should have some idea so that uh, you set the frequencies in such a way that a good resolution is obtained for that range of length next we want to format the reflection that is uh, s11 and uh, from the s11 you go for more and in the more you select linear go to transform and then choose low pass impulse then transform should be switched on now it is off it has been switched on and here you have to set the velocity factor default seen here is 70 velocity factor is set like this 83 then percentage so it will be set now we'll set the frequency limit start will be set at uh, 50 kilohertz and uh, stop will be set at 200 megahertz practically same 10.94 meters that is what is shown here the length of the coax 